last week in the newspaper about a guy from Alabama. I'm sorry, I don't remember what town it was, but he made the news. 106-year-old man uh, from Alabama. <coughs> Excuse me. And he made the news because at 106, he quit smoking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> If you're 36, yeah, quit. You're 106? Dude, you won, man. You win. You're the grand champion of lungs, man. It's not like at 106, smoking is going to take you before your time. About coming up on, uh, matter of fact, just a couple of weeks away, coming up on 15 years together with my wife, uh, which is, thank you. It's very half-hearted, but thank you. That's, uh... And you know what? I understand why I get it. I know I can't see everybody, but there's a lot of people in here married a lot longer than me. I know that. There's couples in here married 40, 50, 60 years looking at me going, 15? <laughs> you don't know squat. We once didn't speak for 15 years, man. I know it's not forever, but it's not nothing. It's 15 years, you know? Here's what I think. Here's where I think I am on the marriage uh, scale here. I can look at newlyweds and tell them they have no clue what's ahead of them. That's where I am, okay? As a matter of fact, if there's any newlyweds in here, let me give you a little 15-year piece of wisdom here. You know those little habits that the two of you have that you currently find cute and endearing? You know those little, th every morning when we have our coffee, he clinks the side of his coffee cup two times. Ting, ting, it's every morning. Ting, ting, not one, not three, it's two. Ting, ting, it is so cute and every time he does it, I love him a little bit more. Fifteen years from now, you're going to be looking across the breakfast table going, oh, you clinked that freaking coffee cup one more time. Do it. Do, I will wrap that spoon around your neck. Do it. And you know what, newlyweds? Here's a tandem piece of advice that comes right on that one. Piggybacks right on. When that happens, and it will, let it out. It's okay. All right? Embrace the hate, okay? You have to learn hate is not the opposite of love. It is not. Indifference is the opposite of love. Hate and love are two sides of the same emotion. Hate is love that's currently ticked off. That's all it is. It's okay. Young guys, if you got a lady with you and she can't occasionally make you hate her, you also don't love her. It's a simple fact. However, if once in a while you want to stab her in the face with a shrimp fork, aha. Uh -huh. That's love, baby. <laughs> Put a ring on it. <laughs> she has this stuff, I call it the magic wife dust. I have learned over the years that all wives have a stash of this powerful magic dust, and you can do many things with it, and she does, but what she loves to do most, she loves to sprinkle the magic wife dust on a word, then she speaks the word, and then the word magically changes meaning. <laughs> Like the word we, W-E, that means you and I, right? We do something together, both of us, right? Oh, wrong. Mm -hmm. She changed it. She sprinkled the magic wife dust on it. She says things like, we need to cut the grass. <laughs> Sweetheart, who the hell are you talking to? We need to paint the garage. Well, we will jump right on that. <laughs> Bet we paint the garage while we stand there and tell us we're doing it wrong. <laughs> that's not nagging, that's magic. <laughs> she sprinkled the magic wife dust across the phrase, I don't care. Not too long ago. Our daughter's at her friend's for a sleepover. I say, honey, it's Saturday night and we're free. When was it? Let's go out. Come on. We don't get this chance. Date night. Taking you out. And it's your night. You get to pick where we go, what we do. The entire itinerary is in your hands. I'll make it happen. Anything. What do you want to do? Oh, I don't 
don't care. <laughs> know what I don't care means, apparently? When you sprinkle the magic wife dust on it, it means I do care. I know exactly what I want to do, and you, Mr. Insensitive Jerk Man, have 30 seconds to figure it out with no clues. Go. I suck at that game. <laughs> with this, uh, the ring itself bothers me. I've never been a jewelry person, you know, and this is no different. I, jewelry just irritates me and it bothers my finger. I, I, after, I don't know why, okay, I don't know what it is about this ring that, that irritates me. It could be the microphone and tracking chip she had implanted in the thing. <laughs> But I want to be one of those people, we all know them, they say, I don't even notice my ring anymore. I really do, I want to get there. Don't think it's going to happen at this point, because we're coming up on 15 years, and this ring, folks, I still, and I mean constantly, I find myself twirling it and fiddling with it and taking it off at bars, you know. <laughs> that one's a joke. <laughs> I would never cheat on my wife, never, never, never. I love my house. Um, but I do love her. <laughs> I do, I do. I make fun of her up here, but I don't know what I would do without her. She's a, a fantastic part of my act. I know that. Yeah, no, no. When I was single, I actually had to write material. Now I just go home, irritate her, and write down what she does. You know? <laughs> 